Welcome to this Windows channel and today we're going to talk about the File Explorer and the different options for viewing the File Explorer. The File Explorer has been part of Windows since the very beginnings and it you know changed it changed slightly through the years through the different Windows operating system and of course it did change a little bit in Windows 8 but it's still there and it's still very useful. Uh, first of all, what is the File Explorer? Well, if you go onto your desktop, you'll see that it's part of the, the taskbar if you haven't changed anything on the bottom left. Uh, it looks like this folder. Uh, if you don't see it, you can of course search for it by going into uh, either the Charms bar or the Start screen. Just type File Explorer and you'll see that it will pop up pretty fast. Now the File Explorer has different ways of viewing the files in folders on your computer. And one of the questions I actually get very, very often is how come you see the file explorer that way and I have absolutely nothing, no menus or no uh, you know panel on the left where I can see the drives and stuff like that. And that's probably one of the major reasons why a lot of people don't or can't apply some of my uh, you know features on my videos so first things first usually the file explorer for most people uh, shows up very very simply so a lot of the uh, preview you know there's a lot of the preview pane that's um, in the, or the details pane the navigation pane stuff aren't there so for a lot of people that um, you know, go into this file explorer, the first thing very often that they actually see is that um, they'll have a very, very simple file explorer and not expanded and they'll, you know, view something like this. As you see here, this is a very simple form. So for example, if I click my file explorer to go and see stuff, I'll see this but nothing more and that's why it's kind of difficult sometimes you know when I explain you got to go see your C drive and do different things or you have your libraries on the left and so on a lot of people say well I don't have that well first of all on the upper right corner of the window of the file explorer there's a very small arrow that points downwards and this is to expand the ribbon the first thing you need to know, there's a ribbon here. If you click, you'll see much more information. Many options that you didn't see are here now. There's also another thing that's very important, is that little view section in the File Explorer. Here, you can select how you view things. The first thing that you should actually always see is the navigation pane. And by clicking navigation pane and then clicking the first option, which is navigation pane, you'll see that the navigation pane will show up on the left. And that is something very useful because it has direct access to many options. And also it gives you a very easy way when you want to send things from one place to the other to so simply click and drag stuff around on your computer from one folder to the other. It gives you access to the OneDrive folders, to this PC, which is basically what was called computer uh, on um, Windows 7. And uh, you know, it gives you all your different folders and you can expand these by looking at the little arrows next to them. You can expand pretty much everything from there. Have all the different subfolders inside these folders. And of course the navigation pane has um, the option to expand to open folder, has the option um, show all folders, show libraries, show favorites. So depending on how you want to actually um, you know, view your navigation um, in the file explorer, well, you just, you know, add these options. Then you have, of course, the preview pane, the default pane, uh, all sorts of rapid, uh, you know, options for this file explorer. The other things that you uh, will check in here is, uh, 
you know, on the top ribbon, you have different ways of viewing things. For example, extra large icons, small icons, tiles, um, you know, list content, depending on how you viewed in the past. For example, you might want to, you know, put it in a different way of viewing. I like large icons, but it could be list if you're used to list and so on. So there's a lot of options here, and this is the way you can modify these different options in the file explorer. So, you know, if your file explorer doesn't look like mine, it's simply a question of playing with these options. Simply go into the file explorer, click the view tab, and, you know, play around with the options and set them up the way you like. It's really simply your way of actually viewing things. It depends on what you want to do with the file explorer. Um, it's also here, there's an easy way in the file explorer to have a quick view of the hidden items. So you can just put a little check mark, show me hidden items in the file explorer, and you don't have to go and you know tweak the folder options anymore. There's a very quick way to see that and see the file name extensions, see, um, you know, uh, item checkboxes if you want to have these little check box next to the different op options here. So there's a lot of uh, nice little tweaks that you can play around with and uh, that's how I got my file explorer to look like I wanted. It uh, is an easier way to go around my computer now. If you enjoy our videos, why not subscribe to our channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, maybe you have uh, some kind of problem or maybe something that you'd like us to make a video of to help you let us know We'll try to post that video online and uh, Thanks for watching and uh, why not take a look through all the videos we have to help you learn more about Windows 8 Thank you for watching